Second Avenue and 135th Street in the South Bronx, New York City. And uh, I'm outside of Eric Kelly's gym, South Box by Eric Kelly. And uh, we're gonna go inside in a little bit and take a little bit of a tour of the spot. You can see Lincoln Avenue here, 135th Street. There's an area of New York City that's really been developed quite a lot recently. Uh, it's Mott Haven, the South Bronx. It's really been exploding. And Eric Kelly's got a gym here. We're going to go inside. We're going to take some video, see what it's like up in there. And then uh, we'll get to speak to the man himself, Mr. Eric Kelly. Double jab. Upper cut left or right. Why are you stepping in? Why are you stepping in? Pop, pop, bam, bam, bam. Stay where you at. Double jab. Upper cut left or right. Hands up. Bend your knees. Here, here. Bam, bam, bam. And I'm right back. Balance. Jab, jab. Upper cut left or right. A little bit better, a little bit better. Jab, jab. Upper cut left or right. A little bit better. Jab, jab. Upper cut left away. Jab, jab. Upper cut left away. Jab, jab. Jab, jab. Focus, focus, focus. Jab, jab. Hands up. On your face. Jab, jab. Upper cut left away. What's up? What's all that? You, you falling all around this shit. What you doing that for? I, I don't know neither. You the one doing this, so I thought you knew. Bend your knees, jab, jab. Jab, jab. Upper cut left, hook right. Why your hands not up? When you throw your left, when you throw your left, your right is here. When you throw your right, your left is here. The opposite hand always up. Hands up. Jab, jab. Jab, jab. Nah, step in. One, two. Jab, jab. Upper cut, left, hook, right. Bend your knees. Jab, jab. Upper cut, left, hook, right. You all right? You good? I'm going to throw my shorts and shit off. Hands up. Jab, jab. Upper cut, left, hook, right. Why you leaning in? Why you leaning in? You just stay there. You don't got to lean in. Jab, jab. Upper cut, left, hook, right. Am I leaning in? I'm right here where I started. Why are you falling in? Look at your feet. Stop leaning in. Here, 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 here. Look, look at my feet. Jab, jab, uppercut, left hook, right. Balance. Look at my feet. Jab, jab, uppercut, left hook, right. Balance. Jab, jab. Balance. Stay right there. Get in your stance. Hands up. Hands up. Nah. Nah. Take your right toe. Put your right toe right here. Touch. Right there. Bring your knee. Sit right there. Sit right there. Right there. Tighten there. Tighten it up a little bit. Right there. Jab, jab. Upper cut left right. Jab, jab. Upper cut left right. How'd that feel? Wow. Don't, lean, don't lean in. Bend your knees. Jab, jab. 
Upper gut, upper. 30 jumping jacks. That was good. All right, this is Maestro. I'm in my home area, South Bronx, New York. We're in Mott Haven at the corner of 135th and Lincoln, right? That's a fact. That's what and, we got. And uh, I'm here with Eric Kelly, the one and only. Uh, talk to me about this gym, Eric. W South what Box Gym, the number one boxing gym in New York City. You know what I'm saying? You go in there, we got a lot of the youth in there, the community, keeping them off the streets. You know what I'm saying? We got the fighters in there, professionals, amateurs, and we got the people, the white collar people. Some people just want to come in, get in shape, get a good workout, you know what I'm saying? Get the cardio right, and that's what this is. So everybody's welcome under this roof. And that's one thing about boxing gyms. Everybody come in the boxing gym, humble your ego at the door, humble yourself at the door, come in and learn something. You know what I'm saying? Matter it the celebs or, 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 or the fighters, or the white collars, or, or, or the gangsters, whoever you is, you won under this roof. You hey. won under this roof, because everybody learning from everybody. And that's the great thing about boxing. You so, know what I'm saying? So I did notice a big mix of people in there, old, young, all colors, yes, uh, all socioeconomic backgrounds. Yes, sir. Now, I know you're US Olympian. Olympic alternate, 2000. Olympic alternate, yeah. and uh, you're originally from Brooklyn, right? I'm originally from Florida. From Tylersville, Florida. Florida. Shout out. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to my guys in Tylersville, Florida. But Brooklyn, New York, Bed-Stuy is where I started my boxing career at. Bed-Stuy Boxing Gym, Gleason's Gym. And those are the gyms where I started boxing under the tutelage of George Washington, Harry Kidd, my guy Blimp, the Lemp Parsley, Hector Roker. Those guys made me who I am. And Thomas Jefferson uh, High School, right? That's a fact. Thomas Jefferson High School, East New York, the Orange Wave. One of the best uh, of the basketball best. programs in the history of this and city. And football. And football. And football. And guess what? So many killer boxers came from Jeff. Shannon Briggs came from Jeff. Riddick Bo came from Jeff. Eric Kelly came from Jeff. And that's just three of them. It's more champions that came out of Thomas Jefferson High School. So given your roots in Brooklyn, why the South Bronx? Because... I couldn't afford Brooklyn. You want me to lie to you? Look, we got a nice gym, nice Absolutely. facility. Nice facility. Yeah. You understand what I'm saying? Like, we got a big window. This is a window. You're not going to do that. You know how much money that's going to cost in BK? We got like, what, 20 foot ceilings like in there, too, yes. super high. Yeah. You understand what I'm talking about? Right. We got a 20 foot ring in there. We got bags, we got weights, we got showers, everything. You know what I'm saying? You know how much money that's gonna cost in Brooklyn? This is not a nonprofit. You know what I'm saying? This is not a nonprofit. But um, I'm just happy to be in this position where we can keep the kids off the street and keep the sport of boxing pushing forward with a real authentic boxing gym. Because in 2022, New York City's lacking authentic boxing gyms. Back when I was coming up in the 90s to 80s, New York City was riddled with boxing gyms all over. From Star Wright City to Coney Island, the Best Stop Boxing Gym, to Gleason's Boxing Gym, the Kingsway, to Mendez, to, you know what I'm saying, the Fort Apache Boxing Gym, John's Boxing Gym, Morris Park, Maestro's. Few of those gyms still here today, but a lot of them gone. Most of them are gone. And that's not a good thing for the sport of boxing. You're absolutely right. And look, this area has really developed a lot over, yeah, the, over yeah. the last few years. Putting it uh, together. You're in a good location. Yes, sir. A lot of nice businesses have popped up around yes, here. You got the four train within walking distance. Right You've there. got the six train right across with, the street. within walking distance. The buses. Buses. So there's really no excuse for people like myself, especially that live exactly. in the Bronx, like my wife who's here with me today too. I'm listening. Uh, not to come here and get a good workout in, be and in the boxing like culture. Assholes. Everybody got one. You understand what I'm saying? Get out your own way and get into the gym, do something positive. Like, and I, I be thinking, if you think about what's going on in the city, not just the city, but the country these days, the world, the crime rates are going up everywhere. The youth have no outlets. Back when I was coming up, you had the PALs, like I said, you had boxing gyms on every corner. You had PALs, you had a whole bunch of different outlets for the youth, you understand? Now you got nothing. And, 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 and it baffles me, like all these neighborhoods, Brooklyn, Bronx, Queens, all this, you got a whole bunch of very successful rappers and athletes coming from these neighborhoods, but they ain't giving shit back to the community. 
They, it's like they turned their back on the youth. It's like the city turned their backs on the youth. Meanwhile, you see the crime numbers going up and everybody complaining. Everybody talking about, yeah, man, he's wild and this and that happened, this and that, because you ain't providing no outlets. It's all energy, you know what I'm saying? It's all energy, energy is what it is. Energy is what it is, it's all energy. You understand what I'm saying? So after school, the kids gonna go out, do something, get in trouble. Have a place for them to go to channel that energy in a positive direction. So you let's get let's get about? to work on that. Getting the city involved, getting the DOE involved, getting the Department of Parks and Recreation involved, and getting the influencers and celebrities involved because they're the ones the kids follow, the rappers, the athletes, the movie stars. They're the ones that got the kids' ear. How you think they get successful off the kids? The kids is buying their shoes. The kids is buying their records. But what they giving back to the kids? What are they listening to the poison they putting into the music? The music is worse than the fucking food. The GMO genetically modified organisms. Now you got genetically modified lyrics. Because they ain't living that. <laughs> this is true. Think about it. A lot of them aren't. It's just a bunch of BS. All right, so listen, we, we got to spread the word. Uh, this is uh, South Box by Eric Kelly. Number one boxing gym in New York City. I, I can attest to that. It was very impressive to come into you, do what you do. The space is beautiful. I want Thank everybody you, to come down here. Lincoln Avenue and 135th. Lincoln Avenue. There you go, and 135th Street. Yes. No excuses, Eric Kelly. Thank you so much. God bless you. Thank you. Y'all better.